Welcome everybody back to Boost in Motion guys and today I'm actually going to give you guys the results of me finally getting tuned but this video is actually going to be an old video. Today's date is actually October 28th but the video I'm going to post is actually from September 10th. Now September 10th I went to Atco Raceway to do some data logging in my base map tune right this is my base map this is before they do any revisions this revision is when i race the rs5 and the gtr in so the results in this video are the results that i had on the track compared to when i raced the rs5 full boton and that stock gtr so this gotta let you guys know right around what i was on at that point okay so it was a base map tune not a revision which i'm actually on now but otherwise than that guys let's get into the video All right, Captain two. Alright guys, so uh, I was waiting for this lady to come back and uh, alright, thank you miss. Whoa guys, I I think I did it. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's a big, big difference. Whoa. <laughs> guys, I ran 11.8. Woo! 11.849 at 116. Let me just uh, take a picture and everything so you guys can see a lot better. All right, guys. So I was the left lane. Sorry for the camera cutting out, but you guys see it. So my best time as Cecile in the cold weather, fully catted. JB4 at its best, almost at its best. I ran a, tw a 12 249. Right? And earlier this year, 90 degree weather in 93 with full down pipe. Hey, how you doing? I like thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Well, this car's cool. Yeah, you know what kind of you know what kind of car it is? You know it's infinity. Infinity Q50. guys so this is gonna be my uh, second run um i brake boosted a little bit better this time i let i waited to rather than try to race the light i let the light come down to the green and then i brake boost it's like 2200 right i like the second yellow light and then i went i didn't race anybody so i didn't record it i should have but the camera was facing this way and, and i was using the phone as a data logger but uh let's see if we beat our 11.8 Thank you. All right, guys, so I'm still running 11.8, but I broke into a 60 foot of 1696. So yes, my 60 foot is getting better, but the mile an hour just still seems a little bit low, as um, shout out to Enthusiast POV said. So uh, yeah, guys, uh, take a look at that. Take a look at that. All right, so uh, yeah. Still traveling, it's consistent at 116. So uh, hopefully I could get one more run, let me see. 
All right, guys, so there are the results. There are the results. So, yes, guys, I ran 11.8 at 116. Now, for some of the new guys, you guys who haven't been following my channel for a while, I used to have a boost controller from Burger Tuning. Now I am tuned on ECU Tech. Burger Tuning is just a boost controller. It is not a tune. It's just a plug-in device. So some of you guys are going to ask, well, can I get uh, these low 11 times in a, in, a, in a Burger Tuning boost controller? I would probably tell you guys, no, it's going to be very hard. Reason being is, boost controller is just a boost controller. A tune changes a lot more out of the parameters that makes your car faster than a boost controller. Just leave it at that. But I did run about a year ago, I ran a, a 12 2, my quickest time of 12 2 in Cecil County driveway in right around 40 to 50 degree weather, which is great boost weather. All I had was AMS intakes, burger tuning, and uh, me. Now, one of the things I talk about in my videos a lot, or at least in my recent videos, is knowing that you have to shift this car rather than let it shift itself. Yes, the car will shift itself if you guys wanna get lazy, but I've already have the receipts, the proof that if you shift the car on your own and you shift at the proper time, that you will have quicker zero to 60 and quicker quarter mile times. It's proven, you could check out my uh, zero to 60 in four second video, you could check out my zero to 60 in uh, three second video, and I also have a video where I'm using the pedal commander, I'm um, not the pedal commander, the draggy device the first time. Uh, so those three videos show the proof that if you brake boost and shift your own gears, you'll get quicker zero to 60 times, quicker quarter mile times, okay? Now later on this year, I went to the drag ship again in 90 degree weather. In this case, I also had lower down pipes now. Then I have a heat exchanger. But the only thing that messed it up was, it was hot outside. It was like 90 degrees. So that is not good for boost weather. And with the burger tuning boost controller, I can only run it right around 12.4 and a quarter mile. It was just extremely hot on my car. So yes, I didn't perform how I really should have performed then. So I never got to break into the 11s for you guys. And then I ended up getting tuned. So that's for some of you guys who saying, well, now you know it. I had 11.8 car to race the GTR. GTRs usually can run mid to low 11s depending on if they use their launch control. If they don't use their launch control and they're not shifting properly, they're not gonna hit 11.5. They're gonna be high 11s to a 12 second car. That depends on how the person drives it. So yes, you have to know how to drive a car, especially an automatic. So just for you guys that's out there watching. But anyways, just to move forward, now to have a revised map, this is the ones you've seen in some of the recent videos where I raced the M4, uh, stock M4 CS, and I raced the 93 tuned 6P manual M3. Now he's tuned when I re-ran him again in that M, that M video, the M video or whatever, I re-ran him. Then you guys got to see the real results. Because when I raced those guys before, I was on JB4. I wasn't on an actual tune. So yes, that's that's how you guys can see the difference of a tune, for some of you people who watch, versus the JB4 at its best. Get what I'm trying to say, guys? So otherwise than that, guys, if you definitely enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Some of you guys keep telling me to get tires. Hit the like button. Some of you guys want me to get... LS, uh, LSD, the, the limited slip differential. Hit the like button, comment below. This allows my channel to get more traffic. This allows for me to make some more coinage off the channel and off the views I bring in and the views where I could actually purchase some of these expensive components because unfortunately some of these companies, they don't really want to sponsor me and that's fine, I understand. They want me to spend my hard earned money, which is okay. That's how my channel got started. I didn't go out there asking for nickels and dimes. I just went out there just to have fun and record my journey. But otherwise than that, guys, I appreciate you guys all, all very much. Uh, you can contact me at Boost Motion on Instagram, Boost Motion on Facebook, and Boost Motion at gmail.com. If you enjoy videos like this, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Otherwise than that, guys, you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you, guys. You have a good day. Oh, I'm not hitting that, man. Not hitting that. Nope. Everyone keeps telling me stop hitting it. <sighs> I gotta end the video somehow. Uh, ah, sorry.